who are the three rookies who are going to have the biggest impacts for their teams. Now, of course, guys like Evan Carter and Wyatt Langford exist. Um, Pete, Crow, Pete Crow Armstrong and Paul Steens will eventually make their way up once they pass through the majors again and get a little more cons. But I'm not looking at them. I'm talking about three under the radar guys who can make a big impact immediately because they have made the opening day roster. So the first one I'm going to look at is from the Pittsburgh Pirates. I mentioned Jared Jones. He was a 20, 2022 second round pick by the Pirates. Uh, he is the third ranked prospect in their organization. In spring training, he has been lights out. 13.2 innings pitch with one win, eight hits, three runs, all unearned. So he has a zero ERA and 13 Ks. In his career in the minors, he is 13 and 22. Now, while the record may not be there, this guy still shoves a 4.31 ERA with 391 Ks and only a batting average of 0.238 allowed to opposing hitters. If you look at his pitch mix, it is deadly. It's a 96 mile per hour fastball that is that goes multiple ways throughout the zone and it's flirted with triple digits over the past. Is an upper 80s sweeping slider and a low 80s curve and a changeup that's his fourth pitch, which he doesn't really use a lot, but it has gotten better throughout every year. So in a questionable Pirates rotation that features Mitch Keller, and then some veterans and new guys. Jared Jones is immediately going to come in as potentially the second best option and make an immediate impact. The second, we are going to the AL Central and we are looking at Colt Keith, the second baseman from the Detroit Tigers. He was a 2022 fifth round pick in, in his minors career. He is a career 300, 382 and 5 to 12 hitter in the minors with a .894 OPS. That includes 60 doubles, 11 triples, and 38 homers. His swing is so nice. He's very consistent. He's able to make contact easily, go opposite field, go pull side, go middle of the field. He can do it all. He's a 22nd ranked prospect in the top 100 and the second in the Tigers organization behind Max Clark. And this Tigers team needs a hitter like Keith desperately they were 27th in average last year 26th in obp 28th in slugging and ops and 26th in rbis the al central is pretty open um, a lot of people are hot on the tigers even myself i think the tigers if they put everything together if they have a really good offense and they improve on these their pitching should be fine but their offense needs to step up and i think colt keith the colt keith can immediately make an impact with this team with guys like Torkelson, who's rebounding up, Riley Green, Willie Castro. Um, the Tigers can make some noise, and Colt Keith can be one of the biggest reasons for that. And the third and final rookie I'm looking at is Jackson Churio. He's a 20 year old Venezuelan outfield and this outfielder, and this is a name that has been floating around discussion boards, uh, social media, Brewers fandom for a while. In 2022, he had a 288, 342, 538 slash line with 20 homers and 16 steals across three levels. And that was all before completing his age 18 season. He was under 18 when he was putting up these numbers. In 2023, he had 22 homers and 44 steals across double AA, A, triple A, in which he became the fifth 2040 teenager in the minors since 1958 in the first since Braves All-Star Ronald Acuna Jr. in 2017. So these three guys are going to be some names to look out for. If you play fantasy baseball, I suggest picking these guys up. They're going to be here for a long time and they're going to have a big impact.